guys and thanks for coming back to another video. So I was super super excited for the Riri Hearts MAC collection. Um, I waited for it for so long. I'm a big Rihanna fan. Aside from the fact that she is absolutely stunning and I think she's one of the most beautiful women on the planet. Um, I just I love her style. I think she is so cool. She can get away with anything. Following her on Instagram always just kind of reminds me that you need to live and have fun too because she is definitely one that knows how to have fun. Anyway, so getting back to the collection. So I was really, really excited for this collection and I picked up a couple of items. Um, I actually had this, the Hibiscus Kiss, um, from the previous collection, which was the um, summer collection. So I have this, just not in the Riri Hearts Mac packaging. Uh, the two products that I picked up are um, this palette of eyeshadows and it is called Her Coco. And it's just four beautiful, warm toned, shimmery, golden, champagne-y colors. Um, very, very reminiscent of the Urban Decay Naked One palette. Just the textures and the colors as well. They all have very warm undertones as you can see on my eyes. I absolutely love this palette. I really wanted to pick this one up because the colors were so soft, creamy, pigmented, easy to uh, blend out. Whereas the other palette, which had the black, silver, and gray colors to it, the more cool tone colors, I felt they were a little bit chalkier, not as um, smooth, not as pigmented. So I'm really, really happy with the palette that I picked up because I absolutely love it and I wouldn't replace it for the world. Now I did have the Riri Wu lipstick from the previous collection as well. So the only lipstick I picked up from this collection is uh, this one talk that talk which is clearly on my lips right now um, it is a retro matte finish which I love and um, I had just picked up the entire retro matte collection that came out just a few weeks ago and I love each and every one of them so I just knew I had to pick this one up when I saw it I love the color it really really reminds me of dark side it's kind of almost the same type of shade just it is a retro matte so this is the look I came up with and if you'd like to see how I did it just keep watching so I'm starting off by priming my face using the Porefessional to kind of fill out any of my large pores around my nose. So today my skin is actually in pretty bad shape as you can see because I just got a facial yesterday. So I'm going to use a full coverage foundation and this is Laura Mercier's Silk Cream Foundation and I love using this with my Real Techniques, um, what's this called? Duo Fiber Face Brush. <laughs> So just to cover up any of those red marks that are still left over from my facial yesterday, I'm going to be using MAC's Studio Finish Concealer with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. This is my favorite duo, just using these two together will cover anything. Using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to cover up any under eye dark circles. And today I'm going to try out a new high-end highlighting pen, and this is the Clarins one. So I have finished up my YSL Touche Cla, and I'm looking for an alternative. So I got sent this one to try out, and I will let you know my thoughts on it. So far, it seems pretty good. I'm going to very lightly dust on some of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to lightly set that, not make it look too heavy or anything, just because this foundation does set quite a bit. So today I'm going to give my eyes a fairly darker base, and this is MAC's Groundwork Paint Pot, and I absolutely love this color on darker skin tones. This is the first time I'm ever using it on myself, and actually it works not bad at all.
So now I'm just taking the infamous Rihanna palette and I'm starting off with that medium brown shade. This is my favorite shade in the entire palette and it really reminds me of Woodwinked, but it's different. It's a little bit more warm. It has more red to it, um, but the texture and the finish of it is very, very similar and you guys all know Woodwinked is my favorite eyeshadow from MAC, so I absolutely love this. I'm just using a clean 217 brush to kind of blend out the edges and make that go fairly high. Next I'm going in with the lightest color and I'm just going to put this right under my brow bone and you can put this in your inner corner as well but today I kind of skipped on that. Next I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and I'm just going to run that through my crease but I'm going to be taking this a little bit higher than normal just because I really want this to kind of have a really really dark and edgy kind of look. Um, I've also used the fourth color occasionally on top of my lid, but today I skipped this part. But if you'd like, you can use the fourth color just for a hint of gold right on top. So I'm just taking whatever's left on my brush and just running that under my eyes just to kind of give it a little bit of definition, but not too much. I don't want this to go too smoky. And then I'm using my Stila, what's it called, all day liquid liner. And I'm just going to very gently give myself a small little flick. Um, just like a nice little line, nothing too crazy. Curl those lashes and apply a mascara. I'm using Max Hot and Naughty Mascara today and I really only like the dramatic side of this. The pink side I don't really like as much to be honest. I'm going to fill in my brows just using a mix of Omega and Concrete. Concrete I think it is. Um, these two eyeshadows, I just kind of mix them on my eyebrows, give them some definition. And then I'm going in just swirling these two colors together and I'm going to just warm up the outer contours of my face. So my forehead, my cheeks, I take it down my neck, a little bit on my nose, just to give yourself some contour, some warmth, a little bit of color because I'm super pale as you can see. Um, I love this product. And then just using my Bobbi Brown uh, Shimmer Brick in Beige for a little bit of highlight just on the tops of my cheeks. Finally, I'm going to be adding that Talk That Talk lipstick using a brush because it's a very dark color and I want it to be perfect. So I just kind of finished off the look with an edgier kind of hair idea. Um, I just kind of raised it, twisted it, bobby pinned this up, and then put the rest in a sleek ponytail. Um, I felt like this look was very, very edgy, so I didn't want to have like my hair down. I just kind of wanted to have it up. So I'd love to know what you guys thought about the look, so please leave me your comments down below, let me know what you think. If you guys picked up any other products from the Riri Hearts MAC collection, let me know what you've been loving, if there's anything that you love or don't love, let me know your thoughts on the collection. If you're new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe, just hit that button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!